guys, uh, my name is Pilot Drew, and uh, this is going to be probably my first video we've got going on on my channel. So we are here on the ground at uh, Princess Julianne International Airport. That I apologize for the default Flight Simulator 10 Deaver uh, scenery, uh, but I do have the Freeware D Hivalin DHC6 Twin Otter here. We're going to do a quick flight over to St. Bart's, again with the uh, St. Bart's uh, default scenery, so it's not going to be too interesting, although uh, we do have quite an approach path, if you guys do know. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of commentary, uh, we're going to fly over there, uh, we're just going to talk about what you can expect on this channel, uh, and that uh, should really do it, a little bit about me, and uh, what can you, uh, what you can expect here. So uh, without any further ado, we'll get going. Uh, we're here in the Twin Otter, uh, as you can see, it's a freeware, so I can choose to have the yoke here or not, but I just choose not to have the yoke. I preferably don't like the yoke there. Just makes my job a little bit easier. I know you guys can't see right now, but I am flying with a full Satec gear. I've got a Satec yoke, throttle quadrant, uh, the switch panel, radio panel, and the autopilot panel. And I'm also using my actual real aviation headset with an adapter to talk and uh, play on Flight Simulator 10 as well. Uh, we will not be doing this on VATSIM. What you can expect from me, one thing you can expect, I do a lot of VATSIM flights. Almost all flights I fly will be VATSIM flights. And uh, I uh, work for Southwest Virtual Airlines. SWAVirtual.com is where I work, as well as for uh, American Virtual Airlines. Uh, AmericanVirtual.org is uh, another one I do. And uh, you'll see a variety of planes. Uh, my favorite plane to fly is definitely the Boeing 737-800 NGX PNDG. I have the 600 through the 900, and then I also have the uh, ERJ145 by Wilco. Uh, what else do I have? And uh, I do have the Aerosoft A320, although I'm not super familiar with it, and the Quality Wings 757200, as well as some default CRJs, and uh, a nice, really nice freeware uh, MD83 that we'll be uh, getting into on some other flights. But uh, as for now, Let's just go ahead and start her back on up. So we'll go ahead and turn the master and the avionics switch on. We've got it coming up here. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, turn our beacon light on. Our parking brake is set, so we can do that. Go ahead and turn on our fuel pumps. And uh, let's just go ahead and start her up. So we'll start both engines up. And there we go. And should be a good start. Go ahead and close our doors. And uh, we should be ready to go. Now I do apologize, the plane is a little bit loud. Uh, we are going to grab our weather here. I do apologize for that as well. And uh, we'll get right back into it. We'll just let this load up. I do use uh, FS Real Weather Pro. Uh, now, by all means, if you're looking for a full payware, full graphics and everything like that, this I am not your guy. I do have good weather graphics, and I do have uh, good payware aircraft. However, my scenery isn't on the dot. I don't have any payware scenery as of now. I hope to get some in the near future. But uh, as of right now, I do not have any at my disposal. So we have the weather set. Looks like we're a little bit cloudy, but we'll be cruising around uh, 3,000 to 4,000 feet, so it shouldn't affect us. And uh, winds here are obviously going to be 0, 9, 0 at 9, -er. and uh, because I have the default scenery, we'll be going for 10, but on here it is 9. So we'll go ahead and take the brakes off, and uh, we'll advance. Now I'm not going to push back just because I really don't feel like it, but uh, we'll just taxi on here, and we'll go on to Echo, I believe, is here. And then over to uh, back taxi for runway, back taxi on 27 for runway 9. Now, uh, guys, I do want to tell you, uh, just like I was telling you, you can't expect, uh, I do try my best. Uh, I actually am a real pilot in real life, it's a training pilot, and uh, I should have my license very soon. And uh, I do a lot of real flying. I try to be as realistic as I can. Uh, most of the time I like to do some shared cockpit flights, and uh, we'll see where we get from there. I do try to be as, like I said earlier, I do try to be as realistic as I can. And uh, I do put, uh, throw a little comedy in there. Once we uh, get
get a video on VATSIM, you will hear some comedy with the air traffic controllers, just because, uh, why not, you know? My motto is, you always like to put a smile on their face. So, that is exactly what we'll go ahead and do. Just a little quick look about the aircraft. Uh, the uh, For a freeware cockpit, it's actually not that bad. The uh, exterior design as well is uh, one of my favorites. It's a very fun, smooth, and easy aircraft to fly. I can go ahead and put the, uh, the link for the download in the description if I can find it. I've had this plane for quite a long time. But uh, all you got to do, just look up on uh, flyawaysimulations.com. Just go ahead and look up uh, Twin Otter Freeware. And uh, this should be one of the first ones to pop on up. So... Uh, we can, we'll be expecting runway 10 for departure. Um, well, for departure at uh, Juliana, and then we'll uh, be expecting runway 10 for landing and departure out of St. Bart's. Although, uh, we'll just be landing at St. Bart's for now. So, uh, like I said earlier, this is just going to be my intro, uh, just to show everybody how I fly, how I do my stuff. Uh, too, it's really too bad you guys can't see me right now, but uh, I always have my charts up in front of me. I've got my switches and seatbelts ready, and uh, I've recently just uh, bought, purchased some of those aircraft that I mentioned earlier, so I'm still getting kind of used to them, uh, but for the most part, I've gotten used to pretty much almost all of them. Now, as you notice there, I just went ahead and pressed the B button to reset the altimeter. I didn't really feel like putting it in, but uh, I'm not one of those guys that has those shortcuts to set the altimeter or any of that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and set flaps 10 for departure. And uh, we are actually going to be in GPS mode, and uh, we can go ahead and just plug it on in. We are going to Tango, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Juliet. You know what, that's not really or cooperating with me, so uh, we'll just leave it be. I already know my way over there anyways. It's not like we haven't done this flight many times before. Just a quick look at the scenery. For all, for all of those, or for those of you who play Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, you know the Princess Julianne, the scenery quite well. I've been meaning to get some freeware scenery, but I am just been a lot very busy, so I just use what I have, and I have fun doing it. All right. Well, uh, since there's no towers on, we're just going to go ahead and take off. Uh, we don't need uh, to talk about anything, any traffic, and that uh, will be a left, no, right turn, right turn to the south. Go ahead and turn our landing lights on. And switches and seatbelts are set. We can turn those off. And as you can see, it's because it's the default Juliana scenery, it's going to be runway niner. So here we go. We'll go ahead and set our takeoff speed. And uh, we'll get on out of here. Another thing I do like to do, I'm also very professional with my callouts, so you'll hear me go, you know, for example, coming up here, 80 knots, the one, and up and at them. And beautiful departure. Very good departure. Quick glance outside, and we'll make our turn. Go ahead and put our flaps up. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're just going to make our southbound departure here, and uh, we'll bring it on that round to uh, take a Fox Shot, Fox Shot Juliet, or St. Bart's. I do have a uh, add-on called the FS Water Configurator. It's a freeware add-on, and uh, it just makes my water look just absolutely fantastic. You look down at the water here, you can just see... Uh, I don't believe that's what it actually looks like, or it did actually look like, but you can see that, you know, it's very shallow, it's very clear, and it's very beautiful, if you do ask me. So for those of you who don't know uh, what St. Bart's is, or if you've never been to the uh, 
St. Martin, Netherland, Antilles area, and you've been living under a rock if you play Flight Simulator, then uh, the St. Bart's Island, or the island of St. Bart's, is going to be straight ahead, 12 o'clock, right here. And uh, we are just going to go and land on their runway. It's a very short, fun approach, so that's why a lot of people like doing that. And there's some cruise ships down there. See if we can zoom in there. Oh, look at that. Got a couple cruise ships. Looking nice. So a little bit over speed, that's what I expected. We'll just bring the throttle down to about oh, cruising speed. And uh, we can maintain. Beautiful flying weather, actually. It is not bumpy at all. I am uh, just really feeling it right now. It's beautiful. Take an outside view. Got a little bit of clouds in the sky, but uh, we'll be cruising just about here around 3,500 feet or so. So. You know, it's uh, definitely not a long flight, and uh, I will be probably doing uh, in the near future for those of you who plan on, you know, looking for a simulator channel that you can really rely on. I, I kind of look to be a more, you know, I'm not one of those guys that's going to buy all their stuff, uh, hopefully maybe soon, but, uh, and I am looking at more payware aircraft, but mostly I fly, I do fly a lot of payware aircraft, and then every now and then I do turn to some freeware, such as the default CRJ-700, uh, a CRJ-200 I picked up, maybe sometimes an MD-83, and uh, if we're just doing quick uh, short hops like this, I might even get into the 172 or the Twin Otter. So that is me. Uh, more of a little bit about me, as I say, I've got about 28 plus, well, uh, about 30 hours now in the uh, Cessna 172 Skyhawk, looking to get my private pilot's license about a year. And then uh, from there, uh, move on and head to be a commercial airline pilot for Southwest Airlines. That's one of my goals. Uh, that's why I fly it now. My favorite airplane is the Boeing 737-800 with winglets and the Hart 1 livery. Cannot get over it. My second favorite, I'd have to say, is the 757-200 with winglets. And I can't decide about the American livery or the United livery. Either both of them are just very nice liveries. And then coming in third is a tie between the CRJ-7 and the ERJ-145. I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of the ERJ-145, but I myself am kind of a big one. I very much enjoy it and just find it amusing. It's a fun plane to fly and it's a lot of fun to uh, just to own it. So. I would definitely, uh, shout out to Wilco, definitely go ahead and check that out if you're looking for an airplane to buy. It's definitely worth the uh, cost. Also, do make sure, though, that your computer or your headset, that if you're using one, is activated to all your sounds. I actually didn't find, I've had the aircraft now for maybe about two weeks, and I did not find out uh, until about maybe two nights ago that uh, you had to have the computer on full speakers to get the full effect of it until I started watching some tutorial videos on it. Turns out they have a very cool uh, co-pilot kind of add-on there that comes with the aircraft. You can pick it up at Phil. You could pick it up at Phil com for about a. I got mine for about 28 bucks on sale. It's originally 46, so it's about. I think they said 50% off, something like that. So, anyways, if we take the exterior view, you can see the airport. It's going to be right over there if you see that runway. But uh, we're just going to start our nice easy descent and uh, easy routing should be nice easy touchdown at least that's what I'm expecting uh, and then I will taxi on over to the gate shut it down and uh, that'll be that I don't know how long this video might go for maybe about 15 minute video or so because this will be this is the full flight rather than cuts and trims and whatnot couple boats down there, uh, just some people in the area. Another add-on I do have, though, is the ground service add-on GSX. I do have that one, and uh, I absolutely love it. I definitely think, you know, if you're looking for a great add-on, especially for Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, to really make your ground procedures come alive, GSX is definitely the one for you. So we are right lined up with the runway, right where I want to be. We'll go ahead and drop flaps 5, flaps 10, my apologies. And now we can start our descent 
Just barely, though. Just barely. Now, uh, I do have a couple friends on Vatsib. Uh, I know a bunch of the guys know me on there, and if you guys might know me as well. I am one of the guys that tends to joke around on there. Uh, not like troll or joke around or any of that stuff, but pop a joke every once in a while, I'll give it a more of an enthusiastic atmosphere in the lights, just so controllers don't have to sit there and be stressed, can actually have a guy who's giving them a fun time. I tend to do that with most of my controllers, unless it's somebody I really don't like, then I'll be super serious, but that rarely ever happens. So for those people who are wondering what simulators I fly, I fly only on Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's been my simulator ever since I was about seven or eight years old. And uh, that was when I was landing the 747 on uh, mountaintops. But now I'm getting precision approaches, Cat 3s and ILSs right into uh, international airports on very cool and sophisticated aircraft. So definitely uh, one of my betters. So we are actually coming in a little fast. We'll go ahead and drop some flaps here. And as you can see, you saw them kick in there. We're probably going to get a sink warning in a minute here. But uh, it's something that I have to live with. And then we can go ahead and drop it to about 30. The only bad part about the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator FSX default scenery is that uh, there is this building right there in the front, and uh, it's very easy to crash into it on approach, just having your wheels just gaze it or something uh, under that aspect, and uh, it's very easy to do, and it can be very annoying at times when you're trying to land, and uh, you end up hitting that building just barely so you gotta make sure you're at about full throttle well not full throttle but just enough to get you right over that building and then uh go ahead and land so that's why i don't like that but uh we are a little high oh don't worry we'll get down do some low bow rudder here ooh, 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 ooh. this is not a good landing a little bit of a bounce but uh nevertheless we are down definitely not one of my best approaches but uh we got her stopped and whatnot all right, guys, welcome to St. Bart's. Go ahead and turn the flaps down, and uh, once we get off the runway, we'll go ahead and turn the landing lights off. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, leave me a like, and uh, if you want to see more flight simulator stuff like this, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment on the uh, video below. And, uh, well, guys, that's all I really got for you. Uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, my name is Pilot Drew. Have a great rest of your day.